not everyone in 15th century Florence is going to be interested in humanism. They're not all trying to bring ancient knowledge into modern times. For example, we have Fra Angelico, who is a Dominican monk at San Marco. And in the late 1430s, the abbot of the Dominican monastery of San Marco in Florence asked Fra Angelico to produce a series of frescoes for the order's Florentine compound. Now, what he's going to do in many of these frescoes are actually going to be, for example, crucifixions, where you see St. Dominic kneeling here uh, at the side beneath the crucifixion of Jesus. These images were in each of the monks' cells, basically in their rooms, to encourage their devotion and focus their energy on the suffering of Jesus. But the piece we're looking at is not a crucifixion, because he does other work at San Marco. For example, he creates the Annunciation. By the way, this also gives you an idea of the very austere, simple architecture that we see in this monastery of San Marco. So what do we have? We have an Annunciation. In the painting, we have the Virgin Mary and Gabriel, Gabriel with the wings on the left side. And Gabriel has come with news for Mary informing her that she is about to bear the Son of God. Now, of course, Mary would generally be taken aback. This Mary is a little more stoic than others that we've seen and others that we will see. Gabriel has definitively feminine features, which is interesting because angels traditionally are without gender. So why is it more feminine. This is Fra Angelico trying to create uh, sort of a genderless figure, bringing masculine and feminine together. He ends up with something more feminine. By the way, the pink is not feminine at the time. The pink would have been masculine because pink was a boy's color. It was part way towards the red that the Roman centurions, the Roman warriors wore in ancient societies. It's not until the 20th century that that changes. So we have Mary and Gabriel, and Gabriel has those beautiful wings giving us the idea that this is something ethereal, something spiritual, but it goes further. When we look at, you'll notice, for example, there aren't enough vaults in the ceiling. For example, we see that this should be three vaults across, but clearly there's some missing here. That's Fra Angelico basically simplifying the scene. He doesn't want you paying attention up here to the ceiling. He wants you paying attention to the narrative that he has created. He also wants you to look at this as something that is happening in the spiritual realm. How? Well, look at the figures. The angel Gabriel doesn't cast a shadow. There's nothing grounding her other than the sweep of her clothes. Mary doesn't seem to cast much of a shadow. You could argue that her stool casts far more of a shadow than Mary does. And you'll notice that Mary isn't terribly feminine. Yes, she has a feminine face, but her body is not. Her body is extra simplified. It's basic. She has no real breasts. Uh, this line simply curves down. It's as if the only feminine feature is her face. And that's intentional. It's in a monastery. He doesn't want the monks to focus on the femininity of Mary. He wants him, them to focus on Mary as a vessel for Jesus. Something very, very different. The background and the loggia in which this takes place is based on the very simple architecture of San Marcos. So it becomes relatable to the monks. And then we also see at the bottom an inscription. And it says, As you venerate while passing before it this figure of the intact virgin, beware lest you omit to sail, say a Hail Mary. Why is that there? It's a reminder that this is a holy image. Again, we're in a monastery. Fra Angelico is kind of covering his bases. He's taken this very simple and direct approach and created something with an almost universal appeal. 
that fully reflects the artist's simple, humble character. After all, he's a Dominican monk living exactly the same life as the rest of the monks, including a future monk who might be slightly more famous by the name of Savonarola, but we'll get to him later. <laughs> 